Okay, in a previous video I showed you how to restrict a layer adjustment to a particular subset of an image. I bring up an active path, head up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then when I pick one of these options I need to make sure to check uh, clip to previous layer, or whatever the, um, the term is. We'll find out in a second. We've already talked about brightness and contrast, so let's take a look at levels. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. And now levels, you'll see, attack some of the same issues as brightness and contrast, but it does some, uh, so in a more complex fashion. Down here with the bottom slider, I can set the maximum dark point and the maximum light point, so that's one thing you can mess with. And also up here, we have the sort of visual distribution of blacks, whites, and grays, or rather those tonal ranges. So here I can decide to compress and expand the ranges in different directions. So here are the, uh, the darkest points come in from the left and they can only get down to a certain depth. Um, and then here the light points come in from the right. I always have trouble describing exactly what's taking place uh, in this case. Wow, that's a pretty good look. So uh, what I really encourage you to do is play around with it. You can see I can also modify specifically the lights, darks, and middle tones as relates only to red. So here I'm just modifying the red material of that subset of the image. In fact, blowing it all the way up to blue. Um, or I can mess with RGB in general, which is what I was doing before. But the great thing about this approach is that it's totally live. So anytime I come down here to make a different manipulation somewhere else in the image, I can always double click here on my levels and come back and restore them to, um, to where they were originally. I have to go back and find out what those exact numbers are, maybe something like that. Uh, you know, I can, I can hide the adjustment, I can bring it back up, and also delete it completely. So let's take a look at a couple more adjustments you might find interesting. My path is active, new adjustment layer, and this time let's try, for example, hue and saturation. We're always keeping this checked. Again, in hue and saturation, I have the opportunity to attack just my reds, just my blues, and what have you. In this case, the master is going to change all the colors at the same time. So I can push sort of that hue focus off in one direction, uh, giving myself some uh, 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 various manic panic colors here. Let's change that back to zero. Uh, saturation is also going to be a nice one because I'm not necessarily taking a, uh, an unbelievable color, but rather just taking the existing color and making it slightly more dense or uh, slightly more washed out to give me sort of a corpse-like look. Uh, lightness and darkness, similarly, is just going to take the existing colors and uh, really accentuate them, you know, pulling them up or pulling them down. So that's hue and saturation. And then finally, let's also take a look at uh, color balance, which, much like brightness and contrast, is a simplified version of levels. Hue and saturation is a simplified version of the color balance. As you might expect, in this case, um, well, I don't exactly have more options, so maybe this isn't quite as pat as um, the relationship of levels to uh, brightness and contrast, but you'll see, again, the same um, general theory where I pick a grouping, such as highlights, and then I can choose to take something and push it off in another direction. Uh, this is you know, most often used in a more traditional type of photography, where say you photographed in a um, lighting circumstance that tended towards uh, green or tended towards cyan or whatever, you can correct this a little bit on the back end by uh, warming colors up or cooling them down. Uh, so those of you from a more traditional photo environment will find that a, um, a very natural set of manipulations to make, but in any case, you should experiment with it. Okay, so um, that covers taking adjustment layers and restricting them to a specific area as defined by a path.